Good evening, everyone. My name is Osagi Uzi, and it's been an honor and pleasure to serve as the president of Black Women High Chapter of National Honor Society. As I think of this next generation of NHS, I know that we have a hardworking group that has worked relentlessly to come this far. This upcoming year is your final year at Blackman High School, and big decisions will be made. Many of you will be stressing out about and wondering what comes next. How will I balance and apply to colleges and regular schoolwork? How will I cope with college scholarships and rejections? If you approach these thoughts and challenges correctly, you will see yourself flourish and grow into a stronger and more mature version of yourself. It is my hope that you will rely on your fellow NHS inductees and teachers for support. Senior year does have its challenges, but equal to these challenges are unforgettable experiences. To the future chapter of NHS, congratulations, and I wish you all the best as you move through what may be the best year of your life yet. Cherish this time with your friends, family, and teachers. To the parents and teachers who have helped these inductees get to this point, thank you for honoring the tremendous efforts of these inductees and supporting them. I will now hand the floor to Dr. Justice, our principal at Blackton High School. Hello, I'm glad to address the inductees of the National Honor Society for this year. Students, congratulations for meeting the requirements of this very prestigious national academic organization. You'll notice at graduation that you get to wear a stole. Nobody else wears a stole because we reserve that for the very top cream of the crop academic students and that's you. So students, congratulations to you, but I'd like to also speak for just one second to some people who surround you that make this possible. Number one, I'd like to thank your faculty. Your faculty spend hours prepping for you giving you feedback, helping you, encouraging you, and they deserve a lot of attention on a special occasion like this as well. And also, I'd like to recognize your parents, our family, because their support as you have um, achieved this goal has, I'm certain, has been um, positive to you. Students, I look forward to seeing you at graduation with your beautiful stoles, and I know you're going to do great things in life. Congratulations, National Honor Society. Students, it is a great honor for you to be here this evening. I am Mrs. Jackson, one of the co-sponsors of our chapter of the National Honor Society. NHS candidates must have a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.5 on a 4.0 scale, be enrolled in at least three honors or advanced honors classes every semester of high school, be enrolled in at least one AP or dual enrollment class in both the junior and senior years, and be vetted by a faculty selection committee. In addition to these academic requirements, you will be expected to commit to activities with our NHS chapter. NHS members will attend monthly meetings and other events and complete 20 volunteer service hours. In exchange for this work on your part, NHS members will receive recognition as an NHS member at graduation through a stole and a certificate, a giving spirit for future charity work and multiple scholarship opportunities. And now Mrs. Cunningham, my co-advisor, will present the history of the National Honor Society. The National Honor Society was first proposed in 1919 as a way to emphasize leadership and character at a time when athletics and academics were being increasingly emphasized in high schools. In 1921, a committee recommended character, scholarship, leadership, and service as the fundamental virtues most worthy of encouragement by the new society. 100 years later, more than 12,500 chapters have been chartered at high schools nationwide. The Blackman High School chapter received its charter in May of 2001. 17 members of that first graduating class were inducted into the newly chartered chapter. This year, you are one of 47 students in your class, the class of 2023, invited to join the National Honor Society. Congratulations to you all on this nationally recognized achievement. This year's Vice President, Claire Harvey, will now explain the symbolism of the National Honor Society emblem. The emblem of the society is the keystone and the flaming torch. The keystone bears at its base the letters C, S, L, and S, which stand for the four cardinal principles of the society. 
character, scholarship, leadership, and service. The keystone is placed by the builder to hold the perfect arch in perpetual stability. Therefore, the structure of our education must be held firm and true to the purposes of life by the virtues represented in this symbol. The flaming torch is symbolic of our purpose to bear forward the searching light of truth and to keep burning in our school a high ambition for the enduring values of life. Since members of the National Honor Society are held in high esteem throughout the United States, they must uphold the tradition of striving for excellence in every endeavor. Membership in the Blackman chapter of the National Honor Society is earned by the effective demonstration of the four qualities held in high esteem by the society. Our secretary, Autumn Parker, will discuss character. Character is the least tangible of the four National Honor Society pillars, and it can be defined in many ways. One definition that Merriam-Webster gives for character is as follows. The complex of mental and ethical traits marking and often individualizing a person group. The students in front of you tonight have shown their exemplary character as individuals and will continue to uphold it as members of the National Honor Society here at Blackman High School. In my opinion, character is closely related to one's integrity, one's disposition, and the staying true to what one believes in. I recently read an article that said that the true test of your character will not be if you respond in situations of moral dilemmas, but how you respond. And although not a definition, it is my favorite way to describe character. The newest members of National Honor Society keep up the good work and continue to model your good character throughout your senior year and throughout life. And now, A.J. Nelson, our parliamentarian, will speak about scholarship. Scholarship means a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life that leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past and is the light that illuminates the future. Candidates for membership have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Asagi Uzi will now discuss leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking the initiative in class and school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to attain the same objective. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interest for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in a country, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed. Thus, to offer oneself for leadership is to charge to each of our members. Now, Claire Harvey will discuss service. Service can be described in various ways. In the routine of the day's work, many opportunities arise to help others. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without monetary compensation or without recognition is the quality we seek in our membership. We charge you, our new members, to be committed to the idea of volunteering in your time and abilities to the creation of a better tomorrow for humankind. Secretary Autumn Parker will now read the creed. NHS inductees. Listen carefully to the words of our creed to understand what it means to be a member of the National Honor Society. I believe in the joy of study, the discipline of diligent learning, and the rediscovery of the world of nature and of humanity through an open mind. I believed in character as essential to the highest type of scholarship. I hold that no intellectual achievement is worthy of deep respect unless it is accurate, reliable, honorable, humble, tolerant, and truthful. I believe in service. It is the privilege and responsibility of the enlightened member of any society to minister with kindness and understanding to the needs of the less fortunate. I rejoice in the burden of leadership with scholarship, character, and service lay upon me, for I believe that my torch should light others to lives of greater beauty, richer joy, and fuller service. NHS inductees, remain standing while our Co-advisor, Mrs. Jackson, leads you in the pledge. Please say this pledge to yourself as you listen. I pledge myself always to seek the light of truth, to maintain scholarly habits, to hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character, to endeavor intelligently and courageously to be a leader, and to give of myself freely in service to others. 
In so doing, I shall prove myself worthy of membership in the National Honor Society. Congratulations to all of you, members of the Blackman Chapter of the National Honor Society of the Class of 2023. Thank you also to family and friends who are watching as well. We recognize your part in shaping the character of these inductees. This concludes our ceremony. We will have our first virtual meeting in May. Please watch Remind and Teams for when that posts. It is a mandatory meeting and will review all the pertinent information you must know before we leave for summer. Once again, congratulations. Mrs. Jackson and I look forward to working with you through your senior year.